What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, if the play-in tournament started right now, the Clippers would have to face the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now the question is, who would be a better matchup for the Clippers if they had to, you know, face either team? And what I mean by that is the Timberwolves are currently in the number seven seed, but they're only one or two games behind the Denver Nuggets for the sixth seed. So whoever gets the sixth seed is the last spot actually in the playoffs, like pitchers, you know, specifically. So it's going to come down to the very end, I believe, in regards to the um, Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets. So in my my personal opinion, I think they match up. The Clippers match up well with both teams, but I definitely think it would be a challenge for the Clippers more so than what others might think, simply because the Clippers are the eighth seed right now. So the eighth seed as it's constructed as we speak would have to travel to the opposing team's house it would be you know it would be an away game for the Clippers in a one game elimination playing tournament now I definitely think the Clippers have the advantage things like that but you know there is you know Kawhi Leonard still missing and things like that uh, hopefully Norman Powell will be back by then at that time I definitely I believe he will but you know of course you know you have to see it to believe it so that's definitely kind of left up in the air at this point but regardless um if they played either one of those teams it definitely would be a tough matchup so one reason uh for me speaking on this is because i definitely want to uh see the clippers you know clean up some things that they've been doing here lately like i said i've been seeing some sleepwalking on defense i've been seeing that um you know there's uh times where their, their defense is kind of like you know just falling asleep you know on certain assignments you know missing some backdoor cuts just little things, you know, things that we see all the time. But I feel like the Clippers need to clean these things up going into the playing tournament because either one of the teams they're going to face is going to be a challenge because you got to understand if it's winner take all one game, you know, like that. I mean, you, you got to bring everything and you got to clean up as much as you can to you know, try to win that game, of course. And uh, I definitely feel like, you know, the Clippers can definitely play a little bit better defense, you know, than what they have been playing. Uh, the other night they did score 153 points. I mean, shout out to Robert Covington. That was a huge, you know, performance by him, you know, uh, for the 43 points as a career high. But um, either one of these matchups is going to be tough because, like I said, with the Timberwolves, I mean, you got Anthony Edwards. He is, he, he is a monster in the making. I mean, I definitely see this young guy, you know, coming into the league the way he is and starting to really make a name for himself. And Cat has really kind of, I'm not going to say revived his career, but, you know, after that Jimmy Butler thing a couple years ago, you know, where he was called soft and all that, I feel like he's kind of, you know, um, a, you know, got over that and is starting to play more like to the level that we know that he can. And, you know, you add, hey, they, they got Patrick Beverly. They got a, you you know, good, you know, uh, defender and Patrick Beverly, which, you know, Clippers Nation definitely miss, you know, him. And um, they got some other good pieces, you know, on that team, you know, so and you can't leave out D'Angelo Russell either. So that would be a tough matchup for the Clippers. I definitely think that would be a, a three point game. Uh, whoever the winner is will win by three or less for some reason in that game specifically um the denver nuggets i feel like the clippers do have a little bit of a better advantage against denver only because jamal murray's not there but you know the clippers are missing Kawhi leonard too so it's like you know they're they're missing their star player you're still missing one of your star players but you know you got paul george but you know they got Jokic, so I don't know. I feel like that could be a, a little bit of a better matchup for them in regards to I, I'll, I'll take a lot of um, now I will say Denver does have some good role players, but I'll take I'll take the, the Clippers role players over uh, Denver's role players simply because I've seen these guys come up big without Kawhi and PG. I haven't seen that team play good or up to a certain level or anything 
without, you know, like like almost as if they didn't have Jokic. If they didn't have Jokic, I don't believe they would do anything. I mean, I just don't believe their 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 role players are as strong as the Clippers role players, simply because the Clippers role players have had a lot of practice. They've had a lot of experience and a lot of their young players have been playing a lot of logging in a lot of minutes this season due to injury to their star players. So I don't think no team is more well equipped or well balanced than the Clippers. I just think that, you know, either matchup will be tough for them simply because when you're playing in a game, you know, playing tournament, winner take all type tournament, you know, if it's one of those type things, the pressure can amount really heavy and, you know, pressure, you know, burst pipes. And this is why I say either matchup could be tough because you got, you know, a lot of young players and stuff on the Clippers that have played a lot of minutes, but they haven't played in big, meaningful games like this one, playing tournament, playoffs, meaningful games, really, really, real meaning, meaningful games. So, you know, that type of pressure can change or alter a lot of things of how certain players play and things like that. So, you know, I want to see, you know, the mirror coffees and players like that step up in games like this, because this is where it's really going to count at. Um, so I definitely think the Clippers can, you know, um, definitely have some advantages in each matchup. Um, but either one is going to be tough. So I think the Clippers are definitely going to need to pick up a little bit more on the defensive side and um, kind of have a, a game plan going in how they need to attack either team. Because that's basically what the Clippers need to do. Since it's like a two game difference between the, um, the Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets. Um, it's like I said, it, it can go either way within three or four games, four or five games left in the season. Um like I said, it's going to come down to the bitter end, but I definitely feel like if if the Clippers need to prepare for somebody the most, I kind of feel like it's going to be the Timberwolves, the team they're going to play going into the playing tournament. So, of course, they got to prepare for both, but I definitely would look at the Timberwolves a little bit more, especially based upon, you know, the record and everything like that. But um, either team is going to be tough for the Clippers, but I definitely think they can find a way to overcome. Getting Paul George back was really huge for them, and hopefully he'll be a able to you know sustain what he's doing and even though he's on a minutes restriction I don't know if he'll be on one by then I, I would hope that he would be off by then but uh, even still they're gonna need everybody to step up you know um, everybody I mean everybody too because like I said with a game like this on the line in a playing tournament you know you only got one shot at it. it's not a seven game series so you know you got to bring everything you have and I definitely feel like you know either matchup is going to be tough for them but um you could you could take it either way, but um, I, like I said, for some reason I'm just kind of leaning towards Denver. If they can get that matchup, I, I feel like you know the Clippers would embrace that matchup too. Especially you know uh, what happened a couple years ago. I definitely think some of the Clippers that you know was on that team definitely would love to you know end their season you know in in good fashion just because of you know what happened a couple years ago and things like that. So um, it's definitely going to be. You know, interesting to see which one they really draw. Personally, I believe, you know, like I said, for some reason, I just believe they're going to draw the Timberwolves. I believe the, I believe both of those teams are going to stay in the same spot. I believe the Timberwolves are going to be the team that they're going to draw to uh, face in the playing tournament. And like I said, either way, either team they face, the Clippers are going to be the, the road team. They're going to be the away team. So, you know, the Clippers just need to be prepared. And it might be one of those early games. You know, I know last year a lot of people were saying the Clippers don't play good in early games like 12 o'clock one o'clock something like that well they need to be prepared this time because they're in the playing tournament and like I said it's no seven game series you got to go out there and win and that's just the way it is so I personally think you know um either like I said I would rather for some reason I don't know I'd rather go to Denver on the road than go to Minnesota for some reason because like I said to me Minnesota has got more talent on the floor all around but either way I, I still think the Clippers can pull out a close game with them I just feel like if the Clippers play the Nuggets for some reason I feel like they could beat the Nuggets about by like 10 points or more I don't know why I just feel like they can so uh, I'm not wishing you know that or anything whoever they get is who they get but uh, I just feel like they have a better matchup against them for some reason something's telling me that anyway but um, either way like I said just let me know who you think they might face in the playing tournament you know who's more likely or who maybe might be the better matchup for them you know to face in the playing tournament uh, either way like I said I, I still think the Clippers will win but but both teams if they play either team I think either game is going to be three points or less. You know, I feel like they can beat Denver by 10 points or more, but 
Clippers sometimes, you know, they have those those dragon moments where they lull around and things like that and let teams stay in the games when they could put teams away. You know, they, they have that that they have those moments at times. But for the most part, they usually always, you know, um, you know, try to close out games as much as they could. But having PG back would definitely help with that. You know, hopefully he can close out some games. But um, I definitely think the Clippers would love to face, you know, uh, Denver just just to knock them off and kind of, you know, um, you know, kill that notion of a couple years ago, even though it's the past. But still, that that would kind of be a, a um, you know, a picker upper for the uh, the Clippers. You know, they I think they would kind of enjoy that, especially the players. You know, of course, that was, you know, there on that team a couple seasons ago. So um, but like I said, we'll see how it goes. We'll see who they draw. I definitely think either matchup is going to be tough for them. So I hope the Clippers are I, I know they'll be prepared, but um, being the road team going on the road, they have to, you know, be a little bit more on point and make as less mistakes as possible because when you're on the road you have to understand every mistake counts everything counts against you the crowd is going to be roaring because like i said especially like if it's the timberwolves you know it's like been a long time since they've been you know relevant or anything like that or so you know their crowd's going to be going the denver nuggets you know it's just going to be tough you know it's that playoff atmosphere you know so the clippers will be prepared but it's uh, definitely be it won't be an easy task at all especially without their main guy you know Kawhi leonard but um they still got pg they still got a lot of good role players and this team is very solid you know for the most part but you know they can't they, they just can't allow themselves to get into situations where they're down when you're the road team you can't be down 20 stuff like that Clippers can't let things like that happen they got to come out and be aggressive put their foot on the other team's neck and go from there as long as they keep that mentality regardless of either team they play you know whether the Timberwolves or or the Denver Nuggets um, I think they'll be fine I think they'll find their way through and then you know they'll face the next you know whoever it is in line and the playing hopefully they get out of that get Kawhi back and then we're on to something but hey that's my take on everything leave any comments in the comment section as always and hey, Kelly out.